Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to make a presentation in Google Drive, mostly because the ones I've found on YouTube don't really do all that well. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about how to do it in your own. Now I've signed into my personal account so it looks a little bit more like yours rather than my professional account. The first thing you need to make sure that you do is that you check the rubric and instructions for your particular assignment. And then one of the things that we've seen is that um, Google has just recently updated. And so you're now getting this little weird um, nine square image. And when you click on that, it gives you the option to pull up your drive. So, and here's where it is. So just to be aware, they've just recently changed that one and it's now that little um, quickie square thing. However, if you also look, if you're in Google, there's also an apps uh, button that will automatically overwrite anything that you currently have um, in, in your uh, whatever tab you have open. So make sure that you either open a new tab or you open, um, you do it that way. So you can either click on the apps button here and then click on Google Drive. But that brings me to the one I don't want. Or um, what you can do is you can click on this little square here, which is also located in your um, email account. So if you're in your email, it no longer has the drive menu up at the top. What you do is you just click on the apps button and then highlight Google Drive and choose that one. And it'll, re it'll put that one open from your email. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and create a presentation. Now, if you have a shared drive folder for a class, then make sure that you've opened that folder first before you click create, because otherwise then you gotta move it and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So you click create when you're ready and you click pre presentation. And this opens up a plain Google Drive presentation. Now, there's a couple of very standard um, types of templates or themes for Google Drive presentations. They're not super spiffy, they're not nearly as good as PowerPoint with all their giant amount of template galleries, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. You're not making this to where it has to be the most original thing you've ever created. This is something so that you can get your information across. So um, since I'm a geek, I like Star Trek, so I'm gonna click Trek. So I've got that one highlighted and you can see there's a very thin blue band around it and then I hit OK. So it's gonna create my theme according to that Trek template layout. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna title my presentation and I'll put in my name and then I'll put the title of my presentation. And so make sure that you put your name in there and then put the presentation. I like to put a dash between the two, but that's up to you. Make sure you have the title of your presentation. Don't just write presentation, um, actually make it descriptive so that when you share this with your instructor, they actually know what the heck they're looking at. And then you hit okay. And so I'm gonna put in my presentation slide. Um, and I'm gonna make you know a basic one with my name the teacher's name and the date. You can do it however you want the rubric instructs you or you can do that however you wish to do it. Now, a note about this. This is handy right here and it's the same exact functionality as you find in the newer PowerPoint versions. You can click down here and I've moved that up a little bit so that I can see both my slide as well as my notes. But you can click here and add notes for every single slide. This is especially helpful if you're going to be presenting this verbally or on video, because you can then print out your notes pages. And so it'll have a picture of the slide and it'll have all the notes that you have, which is usually far more than what you're gonna actually put on the slide. So that's just a handy dandy thing right there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a slide. And so you can use Control plus the M key, which is the same thing as it is in uh, PowerPoint, but I like to choose, I use the drop down box right here to choose the type I want. The most common one is the title and body slide. And so this would be for your introduction. 
and then you click down here and you start adding your introduction stuff. So intro item one, two, three, three, four, five, et cetera. Now, there's a rule about PowerPoint or presentations that people generally don't get, and I'm going to make it very, very clear. It's called the rule of seven. Each line on your screen should never have more than seven words or numbers in it. You should also never have more than seven things on your slide in any particular box. So that means that you can have seven items in this box plus the title. If you had this layout as a side-by-side, -side, for example, um, title in two columns, you generally want to reduce that from seven. So we're going to say this is a compare comparison of two things. Let's say you were asked to compare colonial life in North America versus colonial life in South America. And so you'd have South America here, and then you would have bullet points, which you just click there, and you have bullet one, two, three, four, five, and then you have North America here, or whatever you're comparing. One, two, three, four, five. Number your items, unless you have to. I'm just using the numbers as placeholders so that I could put another bullet below that. I would generally restrict this. If you have two things, that counts as two, and then you have no more than five points under them, and that equals seven. And again, you want to make sure that this is, you know, very brief descriptions. You're not writing paragraphs. You're not writing a paper. Your paper stuff can go down here in the notes section. You know, all this area down here has all of that space for you to include all of your notes, all of your background information, everything that you're going to say. I mean, you can script it out if you want to, but this is where that goes. Okay. Now, I would also, where I you, put your citations for the information in the notes section for each slide as well. That way, if there's ever a question, when because generally you do a citations page at the end or a citation slide at the end. That way, if there's ever a question about where you got that information and it's asking, you know, where'd you get that picture from page or slide three, you'd be able to very quickly look in the notes page and find out where that was. Okay, so those are the basics about presentations in Google Drive. There's a lot of functionality in here. It's almost as functional and with all the transitions and happy hoo ha ha that they have in Microsoft Office without having to pay for it. So yay, thank you, Google. Um, but if you have any specific questions, by all means, please look up tutorials on YouTube. You can ask your instructor, all of those things. Finally, when you're done with your presentation, what you do is you click on your URL, copy it, and then you're going to paste that URL into um, your assignment. That way you don't have to upload a giant assignment. It's still in your drive. You don't have to share it. Just make sure that your sharing permissions up here always say, um, sorry, they always say that you've changed it to where it says instead of private, it says anyone with the link. That key, it still keeps it private. It's not searchable from the interwebs, but it is something that when you paste that URL into an assignment link, or you send it by email or whatever, then that person can then see your information. They can see your presentation. They can grade it from right there. Everything's copacetic. Hope this has helped you. Make sure that you document your source material for not only the information you're putting in your presentation, but also any images that you use that you have not taken yourself. Have a great day.